Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Matt Fellows. Uh, as Eric said, I'm the founder and CEO of Hello Wallet, which is an online wealth building service. Uh, we are primarily distributed through Fortune 500 companies as a benefit to workers to help them better convert their paychecks into economic mobility and ultimately financial security. When we were first thinking about Hello Wallet a couple years ago, we saw a lot of really exciting innovation in the marketplace happening around budgeting and helping people see all of their financial information in one place. We set out to do something different at Hello Wallet. So rather than just show people their financial information, we've built an application that actually helps people change that financial information for the better by changing their financial behavior. To do that, we built a type of artificial intelligence which essentially acts like a financial brain for our members and helps them proactively make decisions that are in their best financial interest. So instead of just engineers at Hello Wallet, we've got neuroscientists, psychologists, economists, and a broad group of academic partners around the country at Stanford, Rand, and Dartmouth, and plenty of other institutions. And collectively, we study how the brain makes decisions about money, and then we incorporate those lessons into our user experience and our algorithms, which are ultimately driving the behavioral change. So we uh, launched our first partnership with uh, Fortune 200 partner about seven months ago, and uh, during that time we were able to boost the wealth of our average member by about $2,000 during that period, which we're really excited about because we're just uh, really getting started and we've got a lot of additional functionality uh, planned. So let's, uh, that's enough, I think, about us in this, in this time that we've got, so let's take a look at the application. And while this is loading up, I also want to say, well, we are primarily distributed through large employers. Uh, as of today, we're making the application available for the first time uh, that we've been using with our institutional partners to the public. So anyone can, can log on and, and join. Okay, so uh, this is the landing page uh, that users see when they, they log on to the application. Uh, the application is fairly large, so I'm not going to show you about 90% of it, and I encourage you to, uh, on your own time, take a look at the application uh, and play around with it yourself. I want to concentrate on the, on the plan uh, because our focus as a company is to provide this prospective guidance uh, for people that's very personalized and this is really the focus of the plan page. On the top of the page here we have a visualization of someone's financial life. Uh, we show both the past as well as the future. So in the goal view we're showing them the past values of all their goals as well as the future projected value of their goals. Users, if they want, can play around with the time series they're looking at uh, to zero in on particular time series. They can also, if they want, um, hide any of these series and look at particular components. Okay. Um, there's also a wealth view here where we look at the same kind of visualization except we're looking at all of an individual's assets and liabilities, uh, looking again at the historical values tracking every day and then projecting out based off of that behavior um, what it's likely to look like in the future. Budget's the same idea except we're looking at gr very granular level there at individual uh, spending areas. Okay, so on the top there is someone's picture of their current financial life and their current financial prospects. Down below that is where we give them this prospective guidance that's geared to helping them improve that financial outlook. And there's hundreds of potential recommendations, all personalized for the user. Uh, we've break them, broken them down into uh, five different categories. The first one is add to budget. And uh, they range from large ones, like this individual's got a child named Sophie and we've analyzed their spending. We don't see any allocations going towards uh, education savings, so we recommend that they add education savings. They could click add goal now. They go through the sequence. We have the tuition of every post-secondary school in the country, uh, as well as Sally May data, so we can give them personalized guidance. But I, I think really the real value here is, is all the dozens and dozens of small things. I was a consumer finance scholar for years at Brookings and this is where people make mistakes and where they eventually get into debt and why workers are about $6 trillion behind on retirement savings. It's because they don't budget and plan for these small little things. So we know they've got a child named Sophie. They're not planning for Sophie's budget. Uh, we look at their income and their spending and figure out exactly how much they should think about budgeting. If they want, they can change that dollar amount if, if Sophie's a very spoiled girl and they can click add it. Uh, we'll tell them what they can afford. So in this case, they can't afford what they want to do. 
Uh, but if, if they want to try to afford it, they can get some guidance which say they can just click help me afford this and we'll pull up uh, the rest of their budget will also give them some recommendations about things that they could borrow fund uh, to help pay for this. Okay? So those are the, the add to budget recommendations. Uh, as I said, dozens more there. The reduced spending recommendations, um, these range from peer comparisons. So we don't look at, at silly averages. We look at actually what your socioeconomic peers are spending relative to you and we'll compare that information. We look at fringe spending um, if, you're, if you're spending more than, than just about anyone. My favorite though is we'll look at people that are spending less than what they've actually budgeted for and we'll proactively let them know that, encourage them to move that extra money into another part of their budget which would make more money for them. So in this case, last month they only spend about $200 of their $245 children's clothes budget. We ask them if it's one time or if they want to rethink their budget. If they want to rethink their budget, um, we show them that they could make uh, a lot more money by, by moving that over to the mortgage because they'll speed up their payments for their mortgage. Uh, goal recommendations, we, we track goals. Um, obviously, and when, when users get off track, we'll tell them how much they're off track and then specifically what they need to do get, to get back on track. So we'll tell them you need to change your monthly contribution from A to B or your completion date from uh, C to D. Budget balance, um, if you're spending more than you're making, we'll give you recommendations about how to uh, get back on track. Boost income, we've got about 100 ways for people to earn supplemental income based off of their income profile and so on. So there's a lot more to the, the application that I've been able to, to show you in this, in this brief time. Uh, some members of my team are going to be here all day and, and we'd love to talk to you uh, if you'd like some more information. Thanks a lot.